Hi. So in this video, we're going to try and talk about DuPont analysis and return on equity. Return on equity is basically what return a company is generating for the money that it has taken from its shareholders in some sense. And you know, there are various connotations around it. But DuPont analysis is a little bit deeper dive into how you know, the components of the company's financial statements work in terms of deriving that return on equity. So we DuPont analysis in a detail mein and uh, we'll try and derive the DuPont analysis equation and try and understand how the ROE pe kaise impact on the ROE and how we can check the ROE ko judge karne ke liye check kar sakte hai, right? So let's first talk about return on equity. ROE kya hota hai? Net profit divided by the equity value of the company. Now this equity value hai, ye hum balance sheet. Se uthate hai. This is nothing but the share capital plus the reserves that shareholders have, right? So the entire sort of capital that equity holders have kind of given to the company. How do you interpret it? Think about this, that if a company has a net profit of, uh, let's say has an equity of 1000 and has made a profit of 200, right? So every year this company will ask its shareholders that, you know, do you want a dividend or do you want to reinvest this money into the company? हम आपको ये पैसा जो 200 करोड़ हमने बनाया है 100000 करोड़ के इक्विटी पे ये हम आपको लौटा दें आप हमें वापस रीइन्वेस्ट करेंगे इन द कंपनी एंड द डिसीजन दैट द शेयर होल्डर्स विल मेक इज दैट लुक यू आर मेकिंग 20% रिटर्न ऑन दिस मनी व्हाट विल आई डू विद दिस मनी इफ यू गिव दिस टू मी आई विल एनीवे हैव टू रीइन्वेस्ट इट समवेयर यू माइट एज़ वेल कीप इट सो इन अ सेंस अगर रिटर्न ऑन इक्विटी ज्यादा है तो कंपनी के पास एक्सेस टू कैपिटल है हमेशा शेयर होल्डर्स विल ऑलवेज फील गुड अबाउट गिविंग मोर मनी टू द कंपनी राइट ऑन द कॉन्ट्ररी अगर मान लीजिए रिटर्न ऑन इक्विटी कुछ इस तरह का इक्वेशन है कि 50 करोड़ का प्रॉफिट है ऑन 1000 करोड़ रिटर्न ऑन इक्विटी दैट्स अ 5% रिटर्न ऑन इक्विटी नाउ इन दिस पर्टिकुलर केस द कंपनी में यू नो द शेयर होल्डर्स मे नॉट बी टू हैप्पी द शेयर होल्डर्स माइट से ओके गिव दिस मनी टू अस एंड वी विल फिगर आउट व्हाट टू डू विद इट एल्सवेयर राइट आई डोंट वांट अ 5% रिटर्न ऑन माय मनी एसेंशियली सो अ हायर रिटर्न ऑन इक्विटी would essentially mean that the company shareholders are happy about what it is doing for the comp for the shareholders and consequently the company will have access to capital company ko jab paisa chahiye unhe mil jayega correct so that's the interpretation there's a detailed uh, review we have on return on equity the link for that video will be put in the description so you can go and check that out as well uh, but let's go one step further now that we have this detail on return on equity and we know this is return on equity Let's actually just try and do some mathematical adjustment to this. So let's assume I multiply this with sales Upon sales I can do that basically numerator and denominator will get multiplied by uh, the same number and let's multiply it by assets upon assets as well Right? So we do sales upon sales, assets upon assets as well. And then we rearrange. So we do sort of net profit upon sales and we do sales upon assets and we do assets upon equity. Right? Kar sakte hai? Pahle humne multiply kiya, sales upon sales or asset upon assets so that we can do mathematically. And then we just rearrange. So sales idhar aagya, assets idhar aagya and uh, equity so basically we just rearrange these items so the equation would look something like this right net profit upon sales into sales upon assets into assets upon equity correct now let's dig deeper into each of these we know net profit upon sales is nothing but the net profit margin of the company right profit margin kitna hai that is what net profit upon sales is we know sales upon assets is like asset turnover ratio right so we are looking at how much sales is being generated per rupee of asset in this context and finally if you think about you know total assets as equity plus debt then assets upon equity is effectively you know you could say equity plus debt plus other liabilities whatever the other liabilities are assuming we are taking total assets divided by the uh, equity so in a sense, assets upon equity is kind of giving you an idea about leverage factor. Company has debt zada hoga, to assets upon equity zada ho jayega, correct? So that's the set of things that you will get in these three. So in a nutshell, what you're trying to say is that the first point is going to talk about profitability of the company. How much profit the company is generating per rupee of sales, correct? The second point is talking about efficiency of the company how much sales the company is generating per rupee of assets higher the better in that sense 
the third point is talking about capital structure of the company kitna debt hai kitna equity hai how much is the debt how much is the equity overall correct now generally when return on equity goes up the interpretation is it is good right but a deeper understanding kind of tells us whether it is coming because profitability has improved whether efficiency has improved or whether capital structure itself has changed right for example all things being equal if a company just borrows a lot of money and spends all of that into marketing there is a possibility that there is a slight increase in profits at this point of time equity has not changed so net profit upon equity will appear to be better but over a period of time higher debt will result in problems for the company correct so it has to be understood in this context and what dupont does this equation here this equation that we have created is basically what is called as the dupont analysis equation right and what dupont analysis helps us do is identify what is causing the increase in return on equity return on equity kyu upar ja raha hai ya niche ja raha hai ye hum dupont se nikalne ki koshish kar rahe hain so ye jo equation hai ise hum dupont analysis kehte hain let's try and take an example here so we have titans data here and 23 and 24 2023 2024 ke titan ke number hai hamare paas sales hai net profit hai equity hai so all the data is available on the screen and we find that return on equity has actually gone up from 27% to 37% from 2023 to 2024 prima facie this looks good but a very quick intuitive number crunching here itself will tell you that you know it seems like equity has gone down right but why has equity gone down so let's try and decode that if we were to do an analysis with respect to dupont we will need net profit margin we will need asset turnover ratio and we will need assets upon equity and then we'll try and multiply the three to arrive at the equation right to agar hum wo data nikalte hain aur hum calculate karte hain to kuch aisa dikhega hame so we have the total assets is what i've taken here uh, based on that you will see net profit margin has actually gone down marginally from 8% to 7% if you calculate net profit divided by sales which is given here that has actually gone down slightly and that can't be the reason at least profitability is not improving for the company when you're looking at return on cap return on equity improving right sales upon assets is also there or there about so it's not like efficiency has improved dramatically right there's a mild increase but it sort of just nullifies the dip in net profit margin jitna net profit margin niche gaya hai lagbhag utna aapka sales upon assets se asset turnover improve ho gaya hai predominant change jo aa raha hai wo assets upon equity ki wajah se aa raha hai right now assets upon equity mein there can be changes because assets have gone up there can be changes because equity has gone down or both of them now assets have gone up could be because you know debt has gone up comparatively what has happened is equity plus debt upon equity has kind of gone up dramatically ab ye do wajah se ho sakta hai ki equity niche chala gaya ya debt upar chala gaya is case mein dono hua hai you will see equity has gone down because that's anyway evident here and debt has gone up now why has equity gone down is because the reserves have been adjusted for the carrot lane minority शेयर परचेज दैट वॉज डन तो जब वो शेयर परचेज हुआ तो उसके एडजस्टमेंट में इक्विटी नीचे चला गया इक्विटी नीचे गया बोरोइंग थोड़ा ऊपर चला गया तो बेसिकली न्यूमरेटर काइंड ऑफ रिमेंड वेर इट इज बट द डिनोमिनेटर वेंट डाउन इन दिस इक्वेशन एसेट्स अपॉन इक्विटी एंड कॉन्सिक्वेंटली वॉट इज हैपन इज द कैपिटल स्ट्रक्चर हैज चेंज एंड दैट इज कॉजिंग अ सॉर्ट ऑफ अ चेंज इन द रिटर्न ऑन इक्विटी दिस मे नॉट बी अ लास्टिंग चेंज बिकॉज ओवर अ पीरियड ऑफ टाइम द कंपनी विल मेक प्रॉफिट इक्विटी वापस से ऊपर चला जाएगा डेट इक्विटी कैपिटल स्ट्रक्चर वापस रीअरेंज हो जाएगा वेन दैट गेट्स रीअरेंज अगेन टू द हिस्टोरिकल स्टैंडर्ड यू आर मोर लाइकली टू गो बैक टू हिस्टोरिकल आर ओ इज विच विल बी अबाउट ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी सेवन परसेंट काइंड ऑफ अ रेंज दिस थर्टी सेवन परसेंट दैट हैज कम इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर सीम्स टू बी अ नंबर right so that is what your dupont analysis allows you to kind of look at it and in the context of titan what we have realized is net profit is actually your net margin has gone down sales upon assets is kind of sideways but what has caused the spike in your return on equity is your assets upon equity number and that may not necessarily be just an improvement in the fundamentals of the company right it is just that there was a transaction jiski wajah se equity niche gaya and because equity niche gaya so that is what has kind of happened so that in a nutshell is what your dupont analysis will tell you very powerful tool would recommend you to try it on other companies just figure out these numbers and try and calculate it and then multiply the three items that you have calculated to get to the return on equity and you'll note that this will match the return on equity that you have calculated but it will give you more insights into what dupont 
analysis is and what the return on equity is and what is driving that return on equity right that's it in this particular video thank you